Award-winning New Zealand actor Robin Malcolm has never tried Tinder. The outrageous fortune star sees it as a sort of modern version of an arranged marriage, she says pondering the new age matchmaking phone app in light of an upcoming 12-minute film Charmer, starring herself and Stephen Lovett. The film, which features in the New Zealand International Festival Best 2018 Short Film Competition, follows two 50-something-year-olds meeting up on a date for the first time. Oh my god, could you imagine me on Tinder? Far out no never. I've watched friends do it, I've watched the side swipe, do you know the way they side swipe? Oh swipe right, my son's telling me. I don't even know what it is, she said. I know a lot of people who have used Tinder very successfully and have a great time on it, but no it scares the behazoos out of me. Charmer is one of six short films selected out of 84 submissions in the hope of winning a prize of either $5,000, $4,000 at the Audience Choice Award, which earns 25% of the box office of NZIFF screenings. For Malcolm's character, by first-time Wellington film director Judah Finnegan, 29, Tinder is just a natural way to get out and meet someone over dinner, dot and maybe more, it just looks at a very particular class psychology of two older people going on a blind date and the lovely flawed humanity of that and how insecure, on one hand, people of that age can be, the sort of fronts they put up, the stuff that they're hiding, the comedy of it, and the sadness of it, Malcolm said. The 53-year-old has just come off a four-month stint in the U.S. filming for The Outpost, a fantasy adventure series. She is also starring in the third season of Australian drama Wanted. Overseas is where the money is at, she says. So why star in a short film by a new director? It's love, Malcolm said, I don't get asked enough. If I could have a career acting in just short films I'd be really happy. In terms of screen work, it's where the really interesting creativity often lies, simply because there's no commercial imperative attached to it. In terms of the creative process, you stop losing your own sense of truth when you start thinking about how you think an audience is going to receive something. And every time people have tried to second-guess an audience, most people have got it wrong. If you look back in history, some of the great films changed the popular genre of the time, or how film was made. They all took risks and that spirit particularly exists within the short film. Her letter of response to the producers read, It's excruciating. Love it. Happy to be involved, it was the utmost compliment for Finnegan, who serendipitously wrote the script with Malcolm and Lovett in mind, I was thinking about relationships and sacrifice and concession and all of those things that go into making a relationship work, he said, I tried writing the script with 30-year-olds and it kind of had this dimension of, who cares to it, when I started thinking, what if we made them a bit older, it sort of came to life and there were all of these other dimensions, when you think about somebody who has been single for their 20s, you know there's a lot of time and fish left in the sea, but when you get to your 50s there's just all of this automatic gravity that comes into play and that was really juicy as a writer. Malcolm was most attracted to Charmer for its beautiful script. I tend to think, whatever pay you're being offered or not being offered, who's directing and producing it, whether they are big names or little names, I firmly believe actors respond to script and script alone. She said, if the script is great then an actor will fight like hell to do the project. Filming took place at a house in Upper Hut, Tokyo, the bar, and a Chinese restaurant in Miramar that was after a fire broke out in the kitchen, we looked through the window and all of the parts we wanted to film were not damaged by the fire and still intact and it was perfect. We essentially stalked the owner until he showed up one day, Finnegan said. Charmer, along with five other short films, plays at Wellington's Embassy Theatre on August 1st and Reading Cinema on August 2nd with a total runtime of 87 minutes. Stuff promoted stories recommended by